But what is up? Uh, so much to talk about. First off, let's go into Rex. What is that all about? How did that even start in the first place? Um, so people was they're always a bit confused when they hear that I've never actually hosted a modded lobby ever. Yeah, I knew that was like kind of <laughs> like that was kind of like the the thing everyone thought, but I I, I already knew that from talking to like people that yeah. you've never actually hosted my lobbies. It was just kind of like were you just getting invited to them? Like how did you become like yeah, the when, name and the face? When of they them? when they first started, it was Lemza and LZR that started them. So it got to the point where if you'd search for Randy Ground War you'd end up in a modded lobby with the colored kill feed. And I think uh, LZR and them got sick of playing against me. So they invited me to top nine. And then that's how we became friends through that. And just it went from there. I forgot about the colored kill feeds, dude. That was, yeah, so, was so that was, was like, you would just end. search for ground war and it, it would end up in the colored kill feed. Uh huh. Yeah. The, 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 the way it would be is it was like, it, that's how you would tell the difference between Rex and like normal at first. Yeah, that's they, what it like, was. Pretty obvious. Like a bunch of, <laughs> yeah. I mean, a bunch of nerds went and made a, a, a patch where it didn't have colored kill feed. Mm. And then that's where it started going downhill. So was there like one specific person who would host it or just multiple people? To, to start with, it was Lemza. You kind of became the name and the face of it. Like, you know why? Was it just people saying? It, it was, was uh... to start with. I was always in them because I was good friends with Zemza. Uh -huh. So we were always playing together. And then I was absolutely banging COD 4. I was permanently online. And I made a ton of vids with it. Yeah. So it kind of just picked up from that, I guess. Now, when did it start that, like, people would host them in private matches? Do you know when that was, like, happening? Um, yeah, it probably started, like, early 2013. Okay. The whole Colored Kill Feed shit kicked off in, like, 2012. Yeah. And then after that patch came out where it was non-colored, you could also start. <laughs> that's my dog. That scared me so badly. I would Moose. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> that made me jump. I have goosebumps. Yeah, Moose is uh, not too bad. Can, can, you, can you cut it out for like five seconds? I'd, I'd like to point out that this is probably the least usable podcast in the history of podcasts. Wow. <laughs> I'm just saying. We got oh, Rex we Lobby, podcast. we got Logs Lobby, and we got Solar Lobby in the <laughs> podcast right now. <laughs> How? I, I don't think anything can top this unless we got like Paco in here or someone. But mm -hmm. did you exclusively just want to play Rex Lobbies for so long? And that's kind of how you got like kind of pinned as like the dude or whatever? I don't know. It was just they were always going because me and Lems were always playing, LZ was always playing, and everyone else wanted to play them at the time. Uh -huh. So there was literally just always one going, to be honest. Do you think of like an insane clip that no one will ever top or anything that you've hit or that you can think of? Um, the clip that no one could probably ever replicate would be the Rito 25 on Crash that I hit. Yeah, how did that happen? That was the most still, <laughs> I don't think anyone has any idea still. That clip was modded, but if that had anything to do with it, I'm not sure. After I did hit that, me and Ozil went private match for probably a good five hours trying to replicate it, just in case maybe the modern menu did have a quicker reload or something. Um, couldn't do it, and then we thought maybe it, it was a connection spike that made it stack. So yeah, we had Ozil. Ozil was just hosting. He was hosting bots, so we got him to open about fifteen YouTube videos all on max quality to try and make his connection lag oh, to see if wow. I could stack it. But nah, never. Because that's something you could do on PC, you know. Yeah. And that's because you can set a bind for it and get the timing perfect. But no, I just couldn't do it. I mean, I've can we had can we pull this clip up forward. to watch it? <laughs> Nos collapse. You even slowed it down. <laughs> that's yep. insane. That is crazy. I would. It's also also note on the last shot. You can see the ammo refills in the gun. I go back to forty bullets. We tried doing that in private match, and I don't think it had anything to do with it. Still couldn't do it. We tried oh, everything. You have you walk over another gun? Yeah, I was maybe talking with the menu, but nah. So you can't do that? I feel like you can do that. I feel like you can pull that <laughs> off. It, it's, right, go, it's, go it's, try. Only, it's only possible on PC. And, and then he done it on console, and that was why everybody's like, what the fuck? Like, this clip is like the COD 4 L11 multi with no reload for the last kill. Why is it so easy on PC, though? Because you can set a bind to cancel everything on YY instantly. Uh... Yeah. So literally, you're at a disadvantage just with your fingers alone. Pretty much. That's crazy. So that's never going to be hit again. Don't probably not. <laughs> if there's been one in all these years, I don't probably think there'll be another. Damn. 